Hello, good evening. How are you? Okay, now we're going to continue with the class. Thank you for being here, Maximo, Rina, and Rosemary. Now we are going to continue uh, talking about movies. Right now, uh, we will have a practice. Remember that tomorrow we will have classes and also um, Friday, okay? So what we have to do right now, we were talking about participles as adjectives. We are going to use that. Also, um, yesterday we were talking about synonyms, right? Some synonyms like synonyms like strange, odd, weird, bizarre, um, funny, amusing, hilarious, hysterical, stupid, silly, ridiculous, dumb, and wonderful, fantastic, incredible, and outstanding. We had also yes, go ahead, Rena. Sorry, sorry. Okay, we had also a uh, generous, right? Like action, comedy, animation, fantasy, biography, sci-fi. Thriller, horror, drama, war, and documentary and musical. And we review some of the vocabulary to describe movies. And today we are going to practice this conversation. Or actually, uh, we practiced yesterday this conversation. And today you are going to provide a review, right? About, um, let me see here. Yeah, about a movie, right? So as you can see, we can uh, recommend movies if we want to, right? We can talk about uh, a movie saying that if it is interesting, if it is exciting, if it is boring, if it is good, if it is bad. And we were talking about special effects, screenplay, actors, right? All of that is included in how we describe movies. So this is what we are going to do right now. Let me see here. We just have three of you, but I guess that we will be able to, to begin. I think that we are going to wait for your classmates just in case they did the homework. And we're going to do this activity first. So I will, um, I don't know if anyone is able to read it. Uh, Pueden alcanzar a ver la letra, can you see it? Can you see it well? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, Rina, can you read number one, please? Uh, what we are going to do is just to read the paragraph, and we are going to guess the actress, actor, or movie each person is describing. So, uh, Rina, read number one, please. Okay. He's a famous American actor who is also a success, successful director and producer. He won the, Os the Oscar for Best Motion Picture in 2013 um, 13, mm -hmm. with Argo, which he direct, directed and co-produced. Okay, so who are we talking about? I don't have idea. Okay, so he's an American actor. So he's an actor and also he's a director and producer. He won um, the Oscar for Best Motion Picture in 2013 with Argo, which he directed and co-produced. And also, I guess nowadays, he he's married with Jennifer Lopez. He is married with Jennifer Lopez. Who is this actor? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, exactly. <laughs> ben Just Affleck. for the gospel, I, I know him. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> he is Ben Affleck. Okay, let's see. Rosemary, uh, are you able to read number two? Can you see the the paragraph? Okay. okay. The, the first movie in the um, Okay. Uh, it's a science fiction. It's a science fiction fantasy that has become a block booster point size. Mm -hmm. That it takes place a long time 
89 galaxy so far away. Exactly. Very good. Perfect. So it says the first movie in the series came out in 1977. It's a science fiction fantasy that has become a blockbuster franchise. Franchise says franquicia, right? So we have different movies, right, related to it. The story takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Which movie are we talking about? Star Wars. Star Wars, exactly. Perfect. Let's see number three. Maximo, can you read number three, please? Yes, teacher. I really like animated movies. And the third one is this series in my favorite. It's about a boy's toys that have a secret life full of adventure when they are alone. Very good. So it's an animated movie and it's a series of movies also. And it's about a boy's toys that have a secret life full of adventures when they are alone. What movie are we talking about? Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. Very good. And Sonia, thank you for being here. Uh, can you read number four, please? Are you able to read it? Good evening. Okay, good evening. She's an actress that is excellent in both dramas and comedies. I loved her in Magma Mia and the Debbie Weir's Prada in 20. 11, she won her try Oscar for the performance in The Iron Lady. Okay, so now we're talking about an actress. She's been in comedies and dramas. She's been in Mamma Mia and The Devil Wears Prada. And she uh, won an Oscar for The Iron Lady. Who is this actress? Marilyn Strip. Meryl Streep, exactly. Very good. Perfect. Meryl Streep. So she is the one we're talking about. So these are uh, the, the, the things that we can use, right, to describe a person, to describe um, an actor or a movie, right? Let's see. Also, we have uh, synonyms, right? Yesterday, we watched synony synonyms like awful, wonderful, stupid, strange. Can you give me uh, examples or synonyms for the word awful, for that adjective? What would be some synonyms for awful? Disgusting. Disgusting, uh-huh. What else? Horrible. Horrible, uh-huh. Let's see. Good evening, Jose Moises. Okay, no problem. Another one will be um, terrible, right? Terrible, awful. Very good. Now, wonderful. What is the synonym of wonderful? Outstanding. Outstanding. Very good. What else? Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. And what else? Fabulous. 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 Exactly. Fabulous. Now we have stupid, right? Uh, what is another synonym for, for that adjective? Dumb. Dumb. Absurd. Absurd. Uh-huh. Sir? Uh, which one? Bizarre. Bizarre, probably. Okay. And for strange. Strange. What is another adjective for strange? Extraño. Odd. 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 Uh-huh. Unusual. Unusual. Weird. Weird. Very good. Let's see. Let's complete the table because you helped me already. So we are going to complete it here. It's here, right? So for awful, as you already said, it was disgusting, dreadful, horrible, or terrible. So 
so we can talk about a movie and uh, the, that movie was disgusting because mm -hmm. there are some disgusting movies right that there are very a lot of blood or a lot of things that we don't like to see so there uh, or probably it was horrible because of another reason right wonderful a uh, movie can be wonderful fabulous fantastic marvelous outstanding uh, stupid is absurd dumb ridiculous or silly and strange bizarre odd unusual and weird will be synonyms right so we can use these adjectives to describe a movie so let's see here um, before presenting or before giving our recommendation for movies, hoy vamos a dar recomendaciones para películas. We are going to guess a movie, right? Also, we are going to read the following statements and try to guess the movie actor or actress. It's the same that we had that we, that we did before, but now uh, we will give you like some pictures, right? It says, "I can't believe I saw it nine times." It's a movie that starts Kane Winslet. It's about an ocean liner which hits an iceberg and sinks. What is this movie? Titanic. 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 Okay, let's see. Exactly, it's Titanic. And now it's in on movie theaters again, right? Yes, for Valentine's. Yeah, for Valentine's Day. Then it's like the 25th. <laughs> anniversary so it's been a long time since it was released very good let's see uh, the next one it says he is the actor who won an academy award two years in a row he got the first oscar for philadelphia and then he won again the very next year for forrest gump who is this person tom hanks tom hanks let's see Exactly, Tom Hanks, right? Very good. Very good. Do you think he's a good actor or not that good? Do you like his movies? Yes. Yes, he's yes a right. Good actor. He's a good actor, yes. Okay, let's see. I love this movie. It's a comedy about a boy that gets left behind when his family goes on vacation and there are some burglars who tried to break into the house. It's hilarious. What is this movie? Home Alone. Home Alone. Let's see. Home in Alone. In Spanish, is Mi Pobre Angelito. In Spanish, is my Mi Pobre Angelito. Exactly. Let's see. Exactly, right? And we have a series of movies. Home Alone 1, 2, and another one. Very good. It's a Christmas classic. Number four. It says, I love this movie. It's a 2012 American 3D live action adventure drama film directed by Ang Lee. It's about a man who tells a novelist about his life story and how at 16, he survives a shipwreck in which his family dies and is stranded in the sea on a lifeboat with a tiger. This is the not life very of <laughs> the life of P. Yes. Okay, life. let's see. Let's see if it is that movie. Yes, Life of Pi. Very good. So you watch a lot of movies, right? <laughs> this was not very popular. Very good. Okay, very good. Perfect. So uh today we are going to talk about relative pronouns. Um also to describe things, right? But before doing Teacher, that, uh, yes. I a word that say Shipwreck, something like that. A shipwreck. Shipwreck, yeah. Shipwreck. A shipwreck is when a boat or a ship, right? Un bote, un barco, uh, is destroyed because of something. Naufragio. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. It's a shipwreck, right? So in this shipwreck, you see his family dies in the movie. Very good. So uh, right now, I want you to recommend me one of uh, one movie. I don't know if you have prepared any um, picture or anything. Uh, did you do that homework? Hicieron esa tarea o no? No tuvieron tiempo. Mm -hmm. 
Were you able to, to do that, that homework? No. No. <laughs> okay. So we're going we are going to leave it for tomorrow. Okay, we are going to leave it for tomorrow. What I need you to do is just to choose one movie. Van a elegir una película. And what you're going to do is just to recommend that movie or why is it good? Why is it funny, right? For example, you can say, I recommend uh, Home Alone, right? Because this movie is about this and it's about that and it's about, uh, it's a comedy, it's for Christmas and uh, I like it and I recommend this movie. And you can also explain who are the characters or the actors, right? The actors are these and these are these. And I like it because it's very funny. And also you can bring a picture. Pueden traer una imagen de la película para que ustedes hagan eh, la, la presentación. So uh, I will send you a movie, a movie. I will send you a video for you to, to check like an example of a movie review uh, to the group, right? Probably after the class, I will send it to you. So since you didn't do it, we are going to finish. I guess that we are going to finish with this topic about movies today. And we are going to listen. Let me see here. We're going to listen an exercise. We're going to listen to people talking about movies. These people are going to talk about, um, well, they are going to have a review, right? about movies and let me see here if it is this one yes they are going to talk about movies books and tv programs and we need to check the conversation you can take notes if you want to pueden anotar si quieren and we are going to check the statements that best describes the people's opinions vamos a ver cuál es eh, la oración que mejor describe la opinión de estas personas Okay, let's see. I will share again the screen, but let me let me check here if I can find it. Okay, very good. Page 88, exercise five, listening. What did you think? Part A. Listen to people talk about books, movies, and TV programs. Match each conversation to the statement that best describes the people's opinions. 1. What did you think of the movie? Pretty terrible. I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so boring that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting. I think I'm going to start reading movie reviews online so I don't waste my money. 2. What do you think of Sue Grafton's books? I love those mysteries. When I started to read A is for Alibi, I couldn't put it down. I stayed up till 4 in the morning to finish it. Wow! Have you read any of the other books in the series? Oh yeah, they're fantastic. B is for Burglar, C is for Corpse... I'm already up to K is for killer. Using the alphabet to build a mystery series is such a clever idea. I can't wait to read all 26 books. I wonder what Z will be. 3. Did you see that documentary on TV last night, the one about Australia? I did. It was fascinating. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah. It was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Are you reading that book too? It seems everyone's reading it now. When did UFOs become so popular anyway? Actually, I just finished it. What a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. I know. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm tired of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? 
Okay, perfect. Uh, so we just need to match uh, person number one, two, three, and four with one of these sentences. Were you able to do it or do you want to listen to it again? I able teacher, able to. Okay, you had the answers? Yes. Uh, anybody? Okay, perfect. So we are going to check right now the answers, okay? Let's see. So number one is letter A, B, or C? C. C. Number one is the bad acting C. was the, okay, letter C. The bad acting with this boring idea makes it terrible. Let's see. Very good. Number two. D. 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 She is excited to read more of this clever mystery series. Very good. Perfect. Le number three. A. 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 Let's see. This special offers an amazing look into an exotic country. Perfect. And the four? B. B. B, right? The new investigation into these creatures was a waste of time. Very good. Perfect. So we had these synonyms. We already did this activity. And now we are going to check the grammar, right? Really, really fast. The grammar for today is related to uh, pronouns, right? Relative pronouns, pronombres relativos. It's really easy, actually. It's not that complicated. Um, so what is a noun? Do you know what a noun is? ¿Qué es un nombre en, en inglés o en español, en inglés? A what person, is a, noun? a person, an object. Mm -hmm. Very good. A word that substitutes or describes a person or an object, the noun, right, the name. A noun is the name of a person, animals, objects, places, or things, exactly. And what is a pronoun? What is the pronoun? Okay, let's see what a pronoun is. It's a word that is used in place of a noun. Lo utilizamos en lugar de nombres, ¿verdad? For example, if I say Rina is happy, the pronoun will be she, right? She is happy, right? So it's substituting Rina, right? The noun. Very good. So we have, we are going to talk about relative pronouns. A relative pronoun connects a clause or a phrase to either a noun or a pronoun. The clause or phrase modifies or describes the noun that the pronoun connects. For example, we met the woman who owns this hotel. Okay, who owns this hotel. What are the relative pronouns? Well, we're going to use who, right? Who uh, is used for people. It replaces subject as I, she, he, we, they, all of these uh, pronouns, right? Reemplaza personas, el who, that quien. For example, Rina is the student who got a 10, for example. Ella es la estudiante que sacó o quien sacó 10 en el examen, ¿verdad? Or Máximo is um, the guy who sells uh, cars, right? Máximo, Máximo es el, el, la persona que, que vende autos. It's the person who sells cars. So we provide extra information about this person. Whom replaces subjects pronouns as me, her, and him. Whose shows possession, which is for objects and animals, and that is used for things. So we are going to choose only three of them. Vamos a utilizar nada más tres. We are going to use only who, which, and that. Whom and whose, uh, we are going to leave it for later, okay? Probably in another class, you will be able to study that. Eso lo vamos a dejar para después. Pero solo vamos a ver el de who para personas which para objetos y animales y that para cosas que también son uh, uh, son objetos, ¿verdad? Okay. 
So we have here relative pronouns come after the noun. After, right? Come after the noun. And we have this one, right? As I already said, we have a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but different relative pronouns like who, whom, whose, that, and which. And as I already said, they introduce a relative clause. Relative pronouns are used to join or relate to different clauses together by referring to the noun in the previous clause using the pronouns. For example, well, uh, you are going to tell me uh, the relative pronoun, right, in each of the following sentences. Me van a identificar a relative pronoun. We are going to begin with Maximo. Number one, read number one, please, Maximo. The pen that you gave me writes very well. What is the relative pronoun there? That. Rina, number two. Bring me the letters that the postman left. Mm -hmm. What is the relative pronoun? Bring me the letters that the postman left. That, I think. That, exactly. Very good. Number three, Rosemary. Can you read number three, please? I hate children. Who bully others. I hate children who bully others. What is, what is the relative pronoun? Who. Who, exactly. Who. Very good. Even though if it is a, a, a plural, right, it is substituting the children, right? Who. Number four, Zonia. Read it, please. Those know the person by whom they are the other kindly. What is the relative pronoun? Whom. Whom, very good. Jose Moises, number five. Can you read it, please? The moment which is lost is lost forever. What is the relative pronoun? Which. Which, perfect. Let's see... Who else is here? Alicia, Beatrice, can you read number six, please? Um, he said he saw me there, which was a lie. Very good. What is the relative pronoun? ¿Cuál es el pronombre relativo ahí, Alicia? Mm -hmm. Uh, which which perfect which was a lie melissa can you read the number seven please my brother who is a doctor has gone to america okay what is the relative pronoun who who is very good who right who is a doctor very good Patricia, can you read number eight, please? Uh, he found what he was looking for. He found what he was looking for. Very good. In this one is what, right? The relative pronoun, what is substituting? Uh, that is, was kind of difficult because we didn't mention that, but what is substituting the what he was looking for? Uh, nine, Gabriela, can you read number nine, please? I don't know how to say that word. Take which Uber, which whichever Uber you like. Uh, exactly, take whichever you like. And over there, the pronoun is whichever, right? Whichever. whichever. Cualquiera, whichever. And the last one, just myth. Um, Read the number 10, please. Whoever wants to come is, is welcome. Very good. Over there, whoever is a relative pronoun. Quien sea, whoever. Very good. Perfect. So the pen that you gave me, right? The Bring me the letters that, right? I have children who. Dogs know the persons by whom, right? The moment which 
He said he saw me there, which was a lie. My brother, who is a doctor, he found what he was looking for. Take whichever you like and whoever wants to come. All of those are pronouns, right? And relative pronouns also. So now we can identify them. Ahora ya los podemos identificar. Como les dije, solo nos vamos a centrar en algunos, solo en dar, who y which. Solo esos tres. So for that, we can use it for people and also we can use it for things, right? Or for animals. That can be used for all of them, right? For substituting people, substituting things. Who, we are going to use it only for people and which for things, right? For example, he's the actor that or who won two Academy Awards. It's a movie which that stars Tom Hanks, okay? So that is um, the difference. The ones that we use for people are who and that. And the ones that we use uh, we use for things is which and that, right? Very good. And it says we can use relative clauses to join two sentences. Aquí estamos uniendo dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Una está diciendo, o uh, sería introduciendo, he's the actor. Y después, who uh, won two Academy Awards. Está diciendo una información extra, ¿verdad? De esta persona. Y la segunda, it's a movie, which or that stars Tom Hanks. Está hablando de una película y después nos dice algo de esa película. Está describiendo algo extra. Por eso estamos... Eh, usamos estos eh, relative clauses, por eso le decimos que es una clause, porque habla de algo extra. La principal sería la que va al principio y después sería la relative clause. We have more examples here. On the left, I brought a new car, for example. It is very fast. So I have two sentences, you see. I bought a new car, compré un carro nuevo. It is very fast. But with a relative pronoun, we can substitute, right, one of them. I bought a new car that is very fast. Compré un nuevo carro que es muy rápido. So, as you can see, we can join two, right? One clause, the main clause, and the depending clause. Another example, she lives in New York, period. She likes living in New York, period. So, instead of saying she, she lives in New York, she likes this, she does that, we can use relative pronouns. She lives in New York, which she likes. She lives in New York, which she likes. Very good. We're about to finish with this explanation. See here. And we have defining and non-defining relative clause. Esto no tienen que preocuparse. Esto es información extra, ¿verdad? Um, solo para que ustedes sepan, ¿verdad? A defining relative clause tells which noun we are talking about. Una defining relative clause nos dice de qué nombre estamos hablando. Por, por ejemplo, I like the woman who lives next door. If I don't say who lives next door, then I don't know which woman I mean. Okay, so las defining relative clauses eh, nos dicen información específica de, de alguien, ¿verdad? Es necesario esa información. Por eso son defining, porque la información es necesaria. Es importante para saber de qué o de quién estoy hablando. Pero las non-defining relative clauses, it, it is not that important, that information. Gives us extra information about something. We don't need that information to understand the sentence. So we don't need that information, right? It's extra information. For example, I live in London, which has some fantastic parks. So everybody knows where London is, right? You know, but um, it says which has some fantastic parks is extra information. So you can separate it. It doesn't change anything. Uh, I live in London, which has some fantastic parks. It's extra information. It's not important to understand that I live in London. But the first one, I like the woman who lives next door. Who lives next door is important because if I say I like the woman, but which one, right? Which woman? 
who is that woman that you like? Ah, the one who lives next door, right? So that is important. That is the difference in defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses. Eso es por si miran a veces que lleva una coma, a veces que no lleva una coma, eh, si esta información es importante, si esta no. Pero nosotros solo vamos a ver defining relative clauses. So don't worry. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Voy a ver si podemos hacer este ejercicio, así que no lo lean. <ríe> Déjenme ver. I will, I will play it again. I will, I will play it again. Solo vamos a ver si podemos hacer ese. Ok. And then we're going to talk about a little bit about that. And then we're going to read a review, right? So you will have an example how to make a review. I think that I have also a listening about that, about uh, reviewing movies. So I'm, I'm just looking for it. Yes, it is here. So we're going to listen to that also. Let me see if we have time. Yes. So we are going to do this exercise just to just to practice the relative clauses, okay? Just let me show it here. Okay. Okay, very good. So uh, we do you have any question about relative clauses before uh, beginning with the exercise, alguna pregunta, algo que no hayan entendido de las relative clauses or relative pronouns? Something, any question, any doubt? No questions about relative pronouns? About who, which, that? Okay, perfect. So we are going to continue with the practice, okay? Una práctica. It says, fill one word in each blank to complete the sentences. It says, use who or that for people, use which or that for things. And uh, let's see, Gabriela, uh, can you read the first one, please? With the relative pronoun already there. Okay. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. Okay, very good. It's a movie which stars or that stars Kane Winslet. Very good. Gabriela, choose another person, please. Uh, Sonia Araceli. Sonia Araceli. Okay, Sonia. Number two, the, the next one. Read it, but include the relative pronoun. It's about a uh, ocean liner, which is an iceberg and sinks. Very sinks. good. It's about an ocean liner, which hits an iceberg and sinks. Perfect. Sonia, choose someone else. Jose. Okay, Jose, are you there? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Read number three, please. The next one with the pronoun already. He's the actor who won an Academy Award two years in a row. Very good. He's an he's the actor who won an Academy Award two years in a row. Perfect. Now Jose Moises, choose someone else. Escoja alguien más, José Moisés. Josemith. Josemith. Okay, Josemith. Uh, read the last the last one. First of all, what that means, burglars? Burglars are like thieves, right? Como ladrones. Ah, okay. There are some burglars that try to break into the house. 
Very good. There are some burglars that try to break into the house. Very good. Or who, right? We can use who, right? Because burglars are people. Very good. Now, uh, we have different movie types or kinds of movies. We have drama, science fiction, horror, fantasy, war, comedy, animation, action, and romance. Um, when we describe a movie or we review a movie, we can say the type of movie that we are talking about. For example, Titanic, right? Titanic is a comedy a fantasy what kind of movie is that romantic romantic exactly it's a romantic movie what is sonia what is your favorite type of movie comedy and romantic comedy and romantic and what is your least favorite the one that the ones that you don't like to watch Mm. Son como niños. I don't know in English. Like a, like a comedy? Yes, comedy. So you don't like uh Son como niños? You don't like that movie? I'm sorry. Yes, I like. Ah, you like it. <laughs> yes. uh, in, a, in a in a movie that you don't like to watch or any genre that you don't like to watch? Mm. Zohan, I don't like. Ah, Zohan, but uh, it's uh, the same actor, right? Son como niños yes. is also Adam Sandler plays Zohan, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes, he has some good movies and other movies that are not very good, but very good. Perfect. Let's see, Maximo, what is your favorite type of movie? Horror. Horror movie. Okay. What kind of horror movies have you watched recently or th that you like to watch? Dracula. Dracula. Okay. Very good. And what is your least uh, genre? Like the ones that you don't like to watch that much? Drama. Drama. Okay. So you don't like drama, right? Like very serious movies. Okay. Very good. I understand. And let's see another person. Alicia, what is your favorite genre of movies? Fantasy. Fantasy. Can you give me one movie? A fantasy movie? Can you give me a name? Stardust. Stardust. That's a really good movie. Very good. And what is the genre that you don't like to watch, That the least one that you watch? War. War movies. Why do you don't like, why don't, don't you like war movies? Mm, sometimes are sad. Mm -hmm. the... Yeah, sometimes are really sad and they show you like really sad scenarios, right? Like, um, yes, actually, I understand. And uh, actually, war is really, is really uh, a very horrible things. Uh, things happen during the war. And also watch it in the movie is like, it's, it's very, like strong sometimes, right? Like strong scenes, or they have a lot of impact, right? Very good. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's see what else here. Okay, we have a movie review here. Eso es lo que van a hacer mañana. Okay, so ya les di chance hoy. Uh, you have a chance today. So tomorrow you are going to say this, right? Uh, you are going to uh, talk to uh, talk to uh, talk about a movie, right? You are going to say what was the movie about? What did you like about it? What did you like about the movie, right? What you uh, what did you not like about it, right? Who was acting? The actors, right? I want you to mention the actors. And how would you rate it? You can give me a rate from 1 to 10. I give this movie 8, right? Or 7, or 5, or 6, right? And here is a review. Are you able to read the review? ¿Pueden leer la review? 
o se las leo yo, porque es muy pequeña. Is to... I, I can yes? read. Okay, Rina, read it, please. We recently saw the movie Chocolate. It's a comedy about a mysterious woman who moves to a small French village. She opens up a shop that sells delicious chocolates. The acting is very good. The town mayor is an special funny character who... Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Rina. So, as you can see, first we need to talk about the movie, right? This movie is Chocolat, and um, it's about a woman. Uh, she moves to a small French village. So, that's what you have to start talking about, right? As I already said, you can bring some pictures. And right now, we are going to listen to uh, movie reviews, right? Uh, people who Oh, some uh, movie critics, right? That's what we are going to listen right now. Let me see here. It's here. Entonces, mañana ya saben que esto es lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Let me see here. Unit 13, that's an... Okay, we're going to read right now. It says, listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony. Talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. And it says acting, story, writing, music, love story, special effects. So we are going to write Nicole's opinion and we are going to write Anthony's opinion. And I will ask you, what uh, what did you say about acting or writing or music, right? And you're going to tell me, oh, Nicole's opinion is that the acting was good or was bad or was boring, right? So I will play it twice. Se los voy a poner dos veces. Y luego, este, we are going to check the answers, ¿ok? Page 90. Exercise 12. Listening. At the movies. Part A. Listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. There are two extra features. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. 
the car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay. Uh, were you able to complete the two opinions? Did you complete the chart? No, teacher. Can you play it again? Yes, I will play it again, no problem. Let me see here. Page 90, exercise 12, part B. Listen again. Write Nicole and Anthony's opinions of each feature. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay. Uh, were you able to write all the information, or do you want to listen to it uh, the last time? I think I got most of the answers. Okay, most of it. Okay, I will play it the last time and we are going to check it um, all together, okay? And uh, así tienen que hablar mañana, así como ellos están hablando. Así, de rápido. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, I will play it right now. Let's see. Page 90, exercise 12. Listening at the movies. Part A. Listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. There are two extra features. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. 
Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay, perfect. Now I think that we have all of the answers, right? Let's see. Uh, acting. What is Nicole's opinion? Did she like the acting or the actor who played James Bond? Yes or no? Yes. She yes, said right. uh -huh. he's the best actor. Yes, he, she's the best actor, right? She said that it was human, worth, funny, is that the perfect double seven. And Anthony's opinion was the same. Did he agree with her? Yes. Yes, right. The same. Perfect. Now, he says that he was the perfect w, w7 actor type. Exactly. Exactly. So he agreed. The story. What is Nicole's opinion about the story? That is so usual. Nothing new. Exact. Nothing new, right? Nothing surprise everything was obvious and what happened with anthony's opinion what was his opinion he thinks that the cars the racing cars was exciting and the surprise ending was great exactly melissa very good thank you race car scene was exciting and the ending was great mm, writing well they didn't talk uh, that much about writing music what is the music nicole's opinion not impressed. Not impressed? I heard that she is impressed about the music. Uh, yes, she yeah. was impressed, right? She was impressed. And she said that it was like the classical theme, James Bond theme, but with a new twist, right? And what was Anthony's opinion? Did he agree or not? It's very interesting music. Interesting music. Exactly, interesting music and, and added to the scenes, the action scenes. Very good. Um, music love story, they didn't talk about that, but they uh, they talked about the special effects. What is Nicole's opinion about the special effects? That what's the weakness of the movie? Because it's kind of tired to see the same special effects, the, that the pen is a gun and things like that. Exactly, it's the same thing. And uh, Anthony's opinion? It was the same or did he disagree? He disagreed. Exactly, he said that it was the best special effect. The best, uh-huh. And what, how many stars did Nicole give the, the movie? How many stars? Four. 
Two. Two. And Anthony? Four stars. Four stars. Okay, perfect. So tomorrow you are going to do the same. No me vayan a decir que se les olvidó. I choose one movie and you are going to provide the review, okay? okay. Mañana ustedes van a dar su crítica, okay? Perfect. So I will see you tomorrow at 7.55 and have a nice evening, okay? Thank you for being here. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Have a nice good night. night. Thank you. Have a good night. Good, good night. night. Thank you. Bye.